What's up, what's up, what's up? It's DIY Grappler back uh, for another video here. So a little quick update, some problem solving, third slab update. So here I'm just scraping off the, the edges so the, the mortar mix doesn't peel over the form. So as I peel up the, um, as I take off the frame here, it doesn't peel up the edges. So yeah, this third slab evolved from the first two, came out better than the first two. This was actually that experimental slab, half um, half wet pour, half dry pour. So yeah, the finish is looking good on top. Um, did did a little bit of problem solving in this video, or you know, on this slab in general. So it was experimental slash problem solving. Uh, right here, same deal, just peeling it off, peeling it off, getting ready to go ahead and take off this form. It's been seven days, been curing, um, still gonna, it's still curing now, you know, I actually, I actually made a four slab today, another experimental slab, different method. Uh, I'll be posting that video, I'm in the middle of editing it, you know, after I post this video, I'm finished editing the other one, it should be up, you know, maybe tonight or tomorrow. So here, boom, I did something new, wearing something different, um, but... Other than that, uh, yeah, you know, gonna about to take this form off, uh, looking good, you know. The only, you know, there's gonna be a couple of things I'm not too happy about, but it's gonna be the evolution. Wow. You know, this this four slab I did today, I evolved a little bit more, more or less an experimental slash evolution. We'll see. Um, you know, and it's for the people out there too. Maybe, maybe you like it this way. Maybe you like it the next way. I'm gonna do it. Maybe, you know, I'm kind of combining at this point, you know, the, um, the Cajun country, they were the first ones I've seen, you know, do the, the dry pour. Then you had, um, Teddy Zane was the first one that I seen do with the mortar mix. And, um, there's another guy I forgot he had wet, you know, the, the and I did that in, I believe in this one or the next, or the next one I did where I poured, you know, a portion of the concrete in, wet it, you know, put the other stuff on top, wet it type of deal. So I can, so I could cure all the way through and I'm starting the curing process a little bit earlier. So what I'm kind of doing is I'm using a little bit of uh, Bruce Lee and mixing everybody's, you know, techniques. And so anyway, I'm peeling off the forms here, made a mistake right here. Boom. Peeled off a little quarter size piece and, you know, being lazy, I should have either, you know, been a little bit more careful peeling up that form or pushed it back more or not been lazy and took off all the screws. So there's a little piece that came off on this one, which is all good, you know, due to the, you know, because um the first two I had big chunks, you know, maybe like I had like six inches of pieces coming off, which I end up problem solving. If you notice, there's a bigger gap in between this third one and the second one here. What was going on? Uh, with the first two that I realized later on, it wasn't that my slab was weak. It just happened to be the tensile strength was weak. And that's that's natural when it comes to this stuff. You know, the tensile strength is weak. The compressive strength is strong, meaning you can compress it, but the tensile strength isn't the greatest. So, you know, um, so with that being said, you know, I did a little problem solving. Look, edges are good. The middle edges are good. I didn't, I didn't, uh, what's the word? Compact, not compacted, um, there wasn't so much tension. So little piece, little, little piece peeled off here, which, you know, not a big deal. You know, I just have to be a little more careful peeling it off. Um, ultimately, I'm going to be getting an angle grinder after they all cure, and I'm going to be angle grinding all the edges so it won't be so sharp. All the edges kind of going to, you know, make them a little bit rounded here. Um, the top's still looking good. This was an experimental one where it was half dry pour, half wet pour. Uh... Yeah, the only thing I'm not too happy about is the um, the sides here, you know, because you can kind of see where, you know, you can see where the mortar meets the concrete, which is not a big deal because that's all going to get backfilled and, you know, I'm going to have rocks in between there anyway. I just kind of like, you know, one big, nice, clean slab where you can kind of see the two. It's all, it is, it's not even really a big deal. It just, you know, I'll probably get some mortar mix and mix it up and go ahead and, uh, Patch, not patch it up, but just tighten up the sides there. Um, so, yeah. Boom. Still looking pretty good. I, I left a bigger gap. So, what was going on was when I had the form. So, see here. Yeah. It's just one piece. Because this, this was a resurfaced uh, slab, you know. And, and so was the second one also. So, the mortar mix wrapped all the way around the slab. So, it's just... You know, like, like I was saying in the first two videos or three, I don't, you know, I don't know where I'm at now, but you know, it's kind of like a cake. But anyway, the the top is still looking good, you know, looking sharp, 
no rocks you know I, I like this kind of finish right here still has a textured finish where it's not you know you're not going to slip on it also so that's kind of cool when it comes to the uh to that roller method you know from the cajun country people would you know and i and i have been doing a gang of research there had there were you know and somebody did beat me to the punch. Someone did a drive for uh, drive for driveway. So right here is where it was so tight when I peeled off the two by four. It peeled off a piece of the a piece of the slab, and I was like, "Dang, my you know my slabs are weak." Same thing here. In reality, what was going on? I figured out later on. It was so wedged in that I had to like pry it out of there. So when I pried it out, it peeled off those pieces. Back to the compressive and the tensile strength. So the tensile strength is not strong. So it wasn't that my slab was super weak. It was just I had it too wedged in there where it ended, you know, ended up becoming a problem. So, yeah, you know, still looking pretty good. I actually made a fourth slab today. Um, I'm editing that video now. Back to the burlap method. Editing that video now. Did another did, did another experimental uh, method. So this fourth slab, I did it different than all three. You know, all the, the first three slabs. It's gonna be a little different. Maybe somebody could pick and choose. And I'm trying to ultimately get my way to the driveway. You know, so I'm trying these different methods in the backyard. They're all gonna get painted anyway. You know, they're gonna get painted. They're gonna get angle grinded down. So I'm gonna make my way to the driveway and see what the best method is for you know for strength i haven't put any rebar or anything in these these are just gonna get walked on these are like you know three and a half inches you know two by fours um so yeah they're still looking good still curing steady watering still got the burlap method deal going on and you know my next video should be coming out you know tonight maybe tomorrow you know peace